What's up guys? Hope you're doing good. I'm doing pretty good myself. Gonna jump back into it tonight with some more mini DT. I gotta keep chugging along through the mini DTs. I've got a ton that need to be opened and reviewed. And uh, the faster that I can do that, the faster I can actually see these models. So this one has been out for a couple years now. This is the LB Works Ford Mustang in Grabber Lime. This one just came out a few weeks ago. This is the Ford Mustang GT LB Works in white. So they are, um, as far as I know, they are different casting slightly just because this is just an LB Works Ford Mustang. This is a Ford Mustang GT. So I think they're a little bit different. Maybe they're not, I'm not exactly sure, but that's what we are going to find out. So let's go ahead and get them cracked open. We'll start with the green one. Um, they did a gray one of this as well, which I do have. Um, I guess I could have grabbed that one out and shown that one as well, but uh, I guess we'll just stick with these two for this video. Maybe we'll look at that one, the gray one, in a, in a future video if they release another one of these LB Works Mustangs. I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't even know where the gray one is right now, to be honest. That's what happens when you have so many Mini DTs, you forget where they are. But anyways, number 426. There's your info on the back. Ford Licensing TSM Sticker UPC. All right. I've probably told you guys this before, but I am not a very big fan of Mustangs in real life. Um, just because where I live in the U.S., it's like, I, I get it, they're very popular cars, but like they're everywhere. And to me, they just, they kind of have lost their appeal over the years. But I don't know why, in diecast, they are so cool. And I don't know why I like them more in diecast than in real life. Usually you'd think it'd be the opposite, but they're really cool. As you can see, this one, like the box says, has a nice lime paint job with some black stripes on it. It looks really nice. The Liberty Walk kit on this looks pretty good in particular. You've got the wide body kit on this thing. So you've got the wide fenders that are riveted on. They look pretty nice. Um, I don't know if this is lowered or if this is just like stock stance. I don't know what the look they that Mini DT was going for was. But it is a very wide Mustang. I do like it a lot. And uh, you've got some nice black wheels. They're like double, they're like five spokes, but like double, as you can see. Yeah, you guys can see it. Just like a nice gloss black. Imagine all the people living life in peace. Liberty Walk catchphrase on the side right there. You've got the Liberty Walk diamond as well. Looks fairly good. Um, Mustang logo right there. Yeah, the pony in like a chrome. It's like a chrome decal. It looks pretty solid. You've got... LB Works R right there on the hood. And uh, the, t the headlights look quite nice. This one is a little bit foggy. There's some sort of residue on this one. Uh, but this one does look nice. There is some bulb detail behind there. And then it looks like there's some sort of like fog lights down here at the bottom, I think. Or maybe those are just, uh, maybe that's just vents. Not sure, but nice looking grill on the front. Big old black front splitter on the hood right here or not on the hood, but the windshield, you have LB Performance and LB Works on the window. It is in black, so it is a little bit hard to see. Kind of interesting why they chose to do it in black. But on the top of the car and right back here, there's not a whole lot going on. Just this nice lime paint along with the racing stripes. You have your fuel filler right there. The wing, it has like a ducktail spoiler, and it's just black. It's just a glossy black. No carbon fiber or anything on this one. And then the rear end, you have your nice triple tail lights. You've got two silver exhaust tips that also have mufflers on the bottom of the car. You have your badging right here in the middle. It's got like the, um, I can't make out what that says, but it has the, uh, like the Mustang badging right there. Liberty Walk on the license plate. Um, some more decals back here, like Liberty Walk. And then uh, I think that, does that say F1 exhaust? I'm not exactly sure. Then you actually, you also do have like a third brake light down here where the rear diffuser is as well. So a little bit of detail on the bottom, nothing too crazy. But this is a pretty solid car. It's a very heavy casting. If you guys could probably, you guys probably could guess that because um, this is a muscle car. But I kind of like the Liberty Walk kits on these. I think it's kind of cool when you see like, especially like American muscle cars with Japanese body kits. Like, um... I don't have them. I need to get them. I've wanted to get them, but Tarmac Works released 
um, Liberty Walk Challengers, and those were really cool as well. And that's like the same thing, you know, American Muscle Car, Japanese body kit, and tuning. I think it's a good mix. But anyways, here is the white one, number 646. There's your information on the back. It's got like that cool like uh, like 3D effect Ford sticker. I always liked those. TSM, UPC right there. And this one, let's see. Yeah, this one looks uh, this one looks like it's the same exact casting as that yellow one. So I don't know if there actually is a difference between just the regular Ford Mustang and the Mustang GT. That's what the boxes say, but to the layman, it looks like the same exact kit and same exact casting. But anyways, this one, obviously, nice white paint with the classic like blue Ford racing stripes down the center of the car. It looks really good. This one, you've got your Liberty Walk and LB Works sticker on in white on the windshield. Um, same Mustang decal in the front. Headlights look to be the same. Again, the uh, the driver's side one is cloudy again. On both of these, the driver's side is cloudy. I don't know why that is. really wish Mini DT could figure that out. But it looks like there's actually some some like glue residue right here, right in front of the, uh, the light. I don't know. Kind of weird. But all the, all the details in the front grille and everything are going to be the same. Um, you still have the catchphrase on the door with the Liberty Walk Diamond. And... Uh, Really nice body kit and fenders and stuff. Looks quite nice. The wheels are the same. And on the back end, this stuff is also going to be exactly the same, I believe. So you, you've got your acrylic taillights. Actually, it looks like the acrylic goes all the way across right here. Is it like that on the green one? Yeah, it is. I guess I kind of missed that. It looks like this acrylic goes all the way across and connects the taillights. I wonder if the... I wonder if this generation of Mustang in real life is actually like that. I actually, I, re I really don't know. And it looks like you can see a little bit of, uh, oh no, I don't think it is. So I think what happened was this whole entire piece right here on the back of the car is acrylic red. And I think what they did is they just painted the center black. That's cause that's easier than having two separate pieces, I think. And I think what happened was right up here at the top and right down here at the bottom edges, the paint doesn't really seal the gap all the way. And so you can see a little bit of red bleeding out from behind the black paint. And I think that's why this one has it as well. So like where this like small red acrylic is up at the top, I think that should be black. So a um, little bit of a, I don't know if you would call that oversight or just quality control, but I feel like Mini GT could be doing a better job with that because now that you see it, especially right against this white paint, that kind of looks bad. I don't know. And you can even, you, I can almost see a little bit of red coming through around the decal right there too. Like you can see that little tiny red dot right there at the end of my pick. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that. They should, uh, they should definitely try to fix that. But anyways, all the other stuff is the same. You've got the um, third brake light down here. The exhaust looks nice. It looks like uh, it looks like the exhaust tips are actually pretty deep. They might have thrown some black paint in there too, so it looks quite nice. But yeah, really good casting. I like these cars. It's just a little unfortunate with what they did, how they designed the brake lights. I just, I don't know. I feel like they could have done a little bit better job. But with that being said, I do like these cars. Glad to have them in the collection. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have a favorite out of these two. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will catch you guys next time.